Whoa, I am Neo. Whoa, I am Neo. the one. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mouse just went all crazy because I, I had my hand on my mouse and I laughed and it just went, oh. Uh, was fun. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no, why did you die? I fell from a high place. Oh, my goodness. Makes me feel so sad about my life. <laughs> I'm crying inside and outside. <laughs> I've got tears streaming inside my body. It's weird. That's really weird to think about. Um... <laughs> There's tears crying on the inside. Okay, let's make a freaking cookie right now. Do it! Can you know. just do it? Can you just make a cookie? That is and not eat it. Now. Eat it and enjoy it. How do you love it? Cookie? Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Do what? It. What? Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Do it now. Give me my stuff. Hand me my stuff. Hand it gentler. Hand me my stuff very gently in my hand. That's the gentle handing song. <laughs> can you get flour? Is that possible? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you make it with because yeah, you, you can make cakes as well, and you have to have flour. So you need wheat, and then you make the wheat into flour, and then you make that into cookies and cookies and cakes. How do you make flour? I have the wheat. Ah, I did it again. Don't do that again. Got to be careful, Nate. I'm sorry. I can I've make bread. You don't have to be sorry. I have to be sorry to myself and my ankles. Your ankles? What? Oh, right. You're falling. That's right. Yeah. I got <laughs> Ow! I don't have any ankles left. And then you're just trying to crawl up with a tree with broken ankles and it hurts your face. I actually broke my ankle in real life one time. I sprained mine really bad, but it felt mm -hmm. like a break. I couldn't put like literally an ounce of, of weight onto it or it would seriously shoot up my leg. Were you doing anything cool? Uh, yes, I was playing football. Oh, see, that's awesome. Yeah, it was in a huge dog pile, and this dude grabbed my leg, and I twisted to run away, ah. and he just held on for dear life. It really hurt. <laughs> I died again. Um, yeah, that would hurt a lot. Did you? Was that high school? Did you play high school football? Yeah, it was actually my senior year. It ended my <laughs> senior year career just about. Ah, sucks. I, I think I played in like three or four games, and then the rest of the season I was just out because I, I ah. I'm such a wimp when it comes to pain, and now is the worst. <laughs> well, that's not wimpy though, because like. If you sprain your ankle so bad, you just literally can't do anything, or you just yeah. keep hurting worse. Yeah. I uh, I also played the high school football. I got taken out one time, uh, pretty bad. Someone like came at me full run and tackled me, and uh, I was nowhere near the ball, which is another point. But uh, it really <laughs> hurt my shoulder. It's it's crazy how hurt you can get playing football. Yeah, it's, it's a dangerous it's sport. So it's violent. so fun yeah. though. Like I love playing football. Mm. I hate practicing though. Like, practice oh, okay. was never fun. I despised practice. Right. But, I mean, like, the, the game was always fun. And even, like, when we were doing skirmishes in practice, that wasn't that bad because basically playing. But, yeah. you know, it, I don't know. It was, it was fun. It was a fun experience. Like, I played, I, I played football since 7th Street, you. I think. What? No! I'm invisible. You can't see me. Nate, yeah. no. Come back. Oh. <laughs> oh, I bet you need uh. sugar. But just yes, wheat and you sugar. Sugar cane. You need sugar from sugar I, canes. I broke my ankle one time. I broke it, and uh, it was in the winter, which was really crap. Um, oh, yeah, but that's not fun. I was, I was. Uh, do you know what a GT is? A GT snow racer. It's just like a sled. Uh, it sounds nope. familiar. Probably not. <laughs> I think it was very Canadian. Anyway, it's this like little sled thing that you, that has brakes and a steering wheel. Uh -huh. Really fun in the winter time to go down the hill on that. And um, but anyway, I, I went over a little tiny jump. My friend went off a huge jump on one on the hill, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't want to get hurt. And so I went off the little tiny jump, and I broke my ankle. That sucks. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it is, and it, was, it wasn't like a clean break. It was like a a hairline fracture. Uh -huh. So like they call it a stress fracture. So it was just, it wasn't really like I broke it. It was just my own weight, like going off this little jump and like. And it just made this little hairline fracture, which is worse. And yeah, but yeah, it sucked. Yeah, that's not fun. I think that's, I swear to God, that's what mine was. They did an x ray, but it was at like a clinic. It wasn't at like a hospital or anything. So I don't, uh, I don't right. know if that makes a difference, but it did in my mind. So they're like, oh, nothing's broken or anything like that. I don't, I don't know. You're probably fine. Just put this on there. I was like, okay. And then but, you're like, ow, ow. Yeah, ow. I literally put weight on my toe and it hurt really bad. I was like, oh, something's broken. Yeah. Now it yeah, pops all the time and stuff. Actually, for sure. And it's different in the states where you are too. Like that cost you money to go to a clinic yeah. and get that, right? Yep, it did. So anytime you get hurt, it's like really expensive. Yep. 
That sucks. Yeah, it was horrible. We had a uh, we had health insurance for a while, not during that actually, oh. um, but we had health insurance for a while, and then my mom actually uh, quit her job recently, so right, we lost right. the health insurance. But uh, I mean, Obamacare is supposed to take place here pretty soon, uh, towards the end of the year. Cool. At least that's what they're saying. I don't know if it's really going to happen or not. But uh, right, yeah. There's a lot. It's it's very controversial in your country. Yeah, it definitely is. A lot of people on different sides of different coins and all that. All sorts of coins. Quarters mm-hmm. and nickels and pennies. Quarters, nickels. We don't have pennies in Canada. I know. You guys are so smart. Seriously. I know. It costs more money to make a penny than a penny is really worth. I don't know why we haven't done it yet. Yeah. And Australia did it like 10 years ago. Yeah. They're, they're way ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, healthcare is free in Canada. So it's really... It's changing though, which is scary. Um, oh, I hurt myself. Uh, but it's 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 changing a little bit. Um, they're making it so it's you have to. I don't know. Our healthcare system's kind of falling apart. It can't, it can't support itself anymore, uh-huh. and uh, so there's a need for like private clinics now. So you're kind of getting a two tier healthcare system where you have to pay sometimes for different things. Like it used to be that your eye care was covered, like uh, not glasses, but like your your eye care checkups, uh-huh. like to see if you need glasses and stuff was covered by the government, but now it's not. And like um, dental, dental has never been covered, huh. uh, despite what people think. You know, Canada with universal health care, but you've always had to pay for your dentistry, which is expensive. And then, um, but yeah, uh, it's uh, it's starting to come to the where like you have to wait like ten hours in a waiting room and stuff. And it, so people are opening up private clinics, and then huh. so you have to pay for that. So yeah, it's changing, like because we just can't. We can't support it anymore. There's That's too many crazy. people. Yeah, there's yeah. way too many people. Yeah, so it's we are kind of going a two-tier system where you have the choice. Like you can go to the the, the free uh, medical route, but you may have to wait in a waiting room for ten hours. Right. And then wait another couple hours before you see somebody. So it's like a whole day excursion. I mean, for non-emergencies, obviously. Right. 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 But even emergencies, the 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 room is so packed full of people that. You know, you're still waiting, and you may not get care quick enough, and it's kind of scary, and uh, huh? Yeah, weird stuff. Weird stuff. That is weird. I I, I recently saw this thing on the uh, on our health systems. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a group of hospitals on the map. Um, there was like a, a bunch of hospitals in the New York area, mm-hmm. and they basically put in like I, I don't know, it was like a data map or something like that. They put in this procedure, and it was a, a surgery of some kind. I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah. Um, and one hospital would charge, like, let's say a grand for the procedure. Right. And literally three blocks away, there would be another hospital, and they would charge 15 grand for that what? same exact procedure. And See, it's all based that? on your location. Because the hospitals don't necessarily, they're not necessarily regulated. Um, right. I mean, they are, obviously. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I'm a doctor now. You can't be that. <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean, <laughs> like, they're not regulated yeah. to a point of, like, pricing. So depending on your area and how much money the medicine costs for that area, that's wow. how they base their prices and how much traffic that they get to that hospital. Obviously, if you go to a low-traffic hospital and you have a high-cost uh, procedure, they're going to charge you more because they don't have that medicine all the time. That oh. it's, It was insane, dude. There was one that charged... Um, like twenty five thousand dollars for the thing, and then, like I said, a couple blocks away, it was ninety thousand dollars for it. What? Yeah, it was insane. I don't know exactly how. Like, see, that's that's the whole thing that I think a lot of us Canadians don't even understand. It's like, how can you put a price on this stuff? Like, right. how is it business? It's people's lives. Right. Exactly. It's crazy, but, but at the yeah. same time, like everybody needs to make money. Yeah, um, and pay, but but they do in Canada. I right. Mean, right. They still get paid. The government pays, and we all pay taxes into that stuff, and that's how that's how they get paid is through taxes. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I didn't understand it at all. Yeah, like, how but can then, you charge that much when literally yeah. there's a hospital just down the street that charges eighty yeah. percent less? It's ridiculous. And then like things like if you get really sick, you're broke for the rest of your life. Yeah, right. You're in so much debt. What? So if you get a heart attack, you. You're screwed. Yeah, and then if you have a family, they have to deal with those medical bills and things like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, <laughs> it's just crazy. That's yeah, all. It really is. Like, like my my dad had a heart attack like years ago. He's uh-huh. fine. He was fine. Like he was okay, but he needed a quadruple bypass and oh, all sorts of stuff, and it didn't cost him a penny. All the aftercare, nothing. There was no money went out. None, zero. Wow. Zero dollars went out for that. 
That's None. amazing. <laughs> no dollars. So he had he had a heart attack. So he went to the hospital and they helped him. And then he, you know, he had to do a bunch of, he had, you know, a bunch of care. And then he had to uh, very quickly schedule a quadruple bypass. And he did that. And then, you know, he had all the aftercare visits and the physio or whatever and all the, the, the appointments and stuff. All paid for. Zero dollars. crazy. Zero dollars. I wish we had that. See? Right. But, okay, so, and then, the the thing that we don't have here is you have to pay sometimes, and it depends on your situation and, and your work situation and a bunch of other stuff, uh -huh. but, like, the pills, right? He's, he has to take pills for the rest of his life, a lot of pills every day. And it still costs him some money, but some of it's paid for. Oh, get this. Okay, here's something that you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll go, oh, my God, at. So right. I have these like speckles. It's nothing to freak out about, at least not yet. I have these speckles that kind of look like skin cancer. Oh, crazy like, man! Yeah, so we were kind of worried about that. So we went to the clinic, right. and mm -hmm. uh, seventy nine dollars. Just to look at it, you mean? Just for him to say, "Oh, it looks benign." Put this cream on. Oh, seventy nine dollars, literally. Right. And it was like an hour and a half trip. Right. But wow. you know, the, the nurse came in or whatever, and she's like, "Okay, let's do this." Blah blah blah. Doctor, be in here in a minute. And, you know, a minute is like, you know, 10 minutes at least um, for doctors. So it took that, and then he's, he came in here, and he's like, all right, let's have a look. And he was like, well, you know what? It looks kind of benign, and you don't have any health insurance, right? So we can't really take a piece of one because that costs more money. See, that's crazy. Here they'd just be like, well, that kind of looks like cancer. Let's just get that off to a yep. lab. Probably let's in a just take it. Yeah, exactly. No, he was oh. like, you don't have health cancer, so we're just going to hope that this cream stuff works, and it's like an antifungal cream or something. Because they're kind of like... They're in weird places where you would sweat. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, right. they're like right on my chest, so it's like, oh, oh they could just scary, be scary, man. Yeah, it's. it's I hope weird, everything goes okay with that. Please. Yeah, hopefully, it's yeah. not like it's not freaking me out. I think it'll freak me out if they start changing colors. Like that'll be bad. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but right, like right. right now, it's kind of like, oh, they're like freckles or liver yeah. spots or something. He's wow. even like, if you were eighty years older, I would say, oh, you have liver spots, but you're not. You're twenty, so. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Unreal, man. Wow. But yeah, seventy nine bucks for that visit. Yep, seventy nine bucks for him to go. Uh, yeah, those look fine. <laughs> see, that's so. And that, and see what happens is then people have to make the choice about their their life, their health, yep. their family's health, their kids or whatever. Yep. Like, hmm, do we pay the rent this month or should I take you to the hospital right yep, now? Exactly. Like, you just slice your arm open. You should get stitches, but nah, we can't afford it. So yep, we'll just exactly. We'll just, We're just hold gonna... this towel on it till it yep. starts bleeding and whatever happens. <laughs> See that to me that's crazy. How can you have to make that choice in your life? Yeah, it's it's amazing. And especially it's for families fair. like us, we're like we're not rich by any means. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like I don't even know how other families do it. Like how do you okay. especially big families, like how do you even do that? How are people succeeding in that way? I and they're know. not really in some regards. I mean, they you suffer in some way. You're going to yeah. either be hungry or you're not going to pay your rent or you're right, not exactly. Going to, it's like, okay, your kid is really hurt or sick, you're taken to the hospital. You don't right. you don't you don't make that choice. But then you're stuck with like a $100,000 bill. What? Yeah, it's it's insane. I don't get it that's, at all. That's I don't know. That's just your country though. And I mean, countries are different. That's the thing. There's every country's different. And every country has their own laws and their own ah, I burned. <laughs> Every country is their own their own thing, and yeah, I just gotta get my stuff, uh, and then we can we can end for now. Yeah, we made some progress. You've been building houses. Yeah, I just the one. Just one? Where I've is it? I'm working on the, the big see. one. You should see it. The uh, it looks kind of finished. Oh, over here. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Let's see this flarpin house in Hyman. All, all I've been wanting to do is um. All I've been wanting to do is just really get it to be a solid structure. That's all I really... Oh, I burned, so probably my stuff burned. No, no, no. No, oh, I don't some... think it burns in fire. I think it only burns in lava. Mm. Maybe. Ooh, you have, you, no, you have it burns in fire. How'd you get I'm a pretty... carrot? Uh, killing, a, killing a skeleton. They drop carrots now. Serious? Oh, you are full of... You're full of arrows. <laughs> That oh, is watch awesome. Out, skeletons mm -hmm. drop carrots. Okay, skeletons are good things to kill then. Yeah, they've, they've changed a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I've done pretty good just sort of filling this in. There's a few holes. Uh, a few more things to do. 
uh, to get this first house, I can't believe how long this is taking. They lied about the estimate of this map. Yeah, <laughs> ten <laughs> hour map, off. more like thirty hour map for people that yeah. suck at this game. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that maybe that that was the problem. Um, <laughs> for someone who doesn't die all the time and can quickly craft things, you're looking at about ten hours for the whole entire thing. That's fine. We'll get through it. We'll do it. We'll We're having a good it. time. Yeah. yeah Learning good about time. Canada. Yeah, and I'm learning about America. It See, oh, that doesn't even sound like a, making fun of the name. <laughs> Canada, America. America, America. Oh yeah. Um. Right on. Yeah, I've I've seemed to have built some walls outside of the windows, but I don't care. I really don't care. They should be happy with the house they get. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. They they're freaking. They're, they're so in entitled. They're entitled. They're saying like, oh, you just build our house and we'll just sit here. We'll just sit here in some eggs. Yep. They're just and having I'm a like, vacation. Hey, right. yep. A pre-wedding vacation, mind you. Indeed. <laughs> this is going, a great... After we're done building all their houses, we're going to. The, they're going to our wedding. Absolutely. It's, yeah, totally. They're <laughs> going to be invited. And isn't isn't this a great bachelor party we're having? So fun. <laughs> uh, building it. It's oh kind of like God. we're doing a... Ha a ha what is it called? Habitat for Humanity or Houses for... Yeah, Habitat for Humanity, yeah. Yeah, we go humanity. to another country and build houses. That's what we're doing. Heck yeah. So yeah, we're we're charitable. We're nice people. <laughs> I feel good now. I don't feel like I'm wasting 20 hours of my life building houses for people in eggs. Not at all. Not at all. For Ooh, people this... in eggs. Yeah. Is this the uh, little farm area you built? Yeah, we got a row of wheat, and then we got these two melons here that are gonna take forever to I grow. I like that. I do. I like that a lot. Looks pretty fancy. Needs some Looks flowers good. on it. All right, so we'll pick this up later on. Thanks for watching, guys. We're, I don't know what episode you're watching on right now. We're probably into it a little bit, but uh, make sure you tune in for the next ones that are coming up soon. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to our channels, liking our videos, favoriting them, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Absolutely. Bye. 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 Bye.